children are our greatest asset, but the legacy of apartheid and the huge social transformation since democracy have left many South African children vulnerable and in need of care and assistance. As South Africa has changed, so have the circumstances in which our children live. The old laws weren't able to respond to the everyday struggles that they and their families face. A new law was needed. After more than a decade in the making, the new Children's Act comes into force. It's a complex and innovative piece of legislation. It addresses the rights and the needs of all children in South Africa, recognizing the huge social challenges they face in the 21st century. Poverty, unemployment, domestic violence, and the HIV and AIDS pandemic have vastly increased the number of vulnerable children in South Africa. There are 18 million children in our country. Two thirds of them live in poverty. 7% are orphans. Nearly 8 million of them receive child support grants. The old laws only provided state protection for children once harm had been done. Also, the state was not obliged to provide social services for children. These rights are now enshrined in our constitution. In response to these outdated laws and the changing social landscape, the Children's Act embraces a new paradigm. It provides three levels of protection for children. Most resources should be put into prevention to stop children from being neglected, exploited or abused in the first place. This involves services like early childhood development programs, maternal and child health care, access to child support grants and school-based feeding schemes. Early intervention strategies protect children who are vulnerable to abuse, neglect or exploitation. Parenting skills programs and disability support are examples. The third level gives protection to children who have been abused or neglected an alternative care for children who are removed from their families due to abuse, neglect, offening or abandonment. To solve these problems, different government departments and civil society organizations must work together in a coordinated way. Children's issues are not only the concern of the Department of Social Development. The Departments of Education, Finance, Health, Justice, Constitutional Development and the Police Service also play a joint role. The Act brings a rights-based approach to children's issues. It builds on the rights of children that have been enshrined in the Constitution. It also brings South Africa's child care and protection law in line with the Bill of Rights and international law. Helping children access the care and protection that the law offers will help South Africa grow out of poverty and overcome the inequalities of the past. How we care for our children will determine our destiny as a country.